here at my local bowling alley with my mom. And I found this ball the last time we came. I was hoping it was still here. Check this out. It's got three finger holes. And then, where are you? One more random hole at the bottom. I want to bowl a game with this to see how we do. It's probably going to be horrible. So let's have some fun. Did you push the button already? No. Okay, because I. Oh, yeah, you're recording. That was a little embarrassing. We saved it at least.
Not that bad. I do that so far left. Oh, I won't go until we hit play. 189. It's a three, four, five hole ball. So I just got home from the bowling alley. We got some really good games after that. I even got a 226. The game you saw me bowl was 189. I wanted to do just one game with it, just for S's and G's. But I ended up bowling the entire time with it. And I just got better and better and better. I should have recorded the whole entire two-hour session that we had. But I didn't. I got six strikes in a row at one point. And it was actually right after we cut the video. I got that turkey. Then I got a turkey in the first uh, three frames of the next one, followed by a nine spare, and that was the 226. But something awesome happened. Because I knew this was not a normal house ball. I actually asked if uh, I could keep it. Guess who owns a three-finger bowling ball now? <laughs> The bowling ball alley, uh, the bowling ball alley, yes. The bowling alley owner actually said I could keep it. So I have a free bowling ball now. That's awesome. I hope you enjoyed the three finger video. Don't use the thumb ever. It sucks. And I'll see you all later. Thank you for watching.